everybody. I'm Detective BB with the Coronado Police Department, and coming up next, I'm going to be telling you how to avoid scams and frauds this holiday season. Hi everyone, this is Detective Beebe with the Coronado Police Department. This holiday season, we want everybody to be safe and to be mindful of scams that you can potentially run into. Um, first, I'd like to talk about email scams, uh, texting scams, and phone scams. Uh, for the first set, for the email scams, the most common scams we see are phishing scams. And it is pretty much what it sounds like. It's people phishing for information. Uh, usually these emails might be fake emails, either from your bank um, or from subscription services or general emails asking for uh, your personal information. Things to be mindful of these phishing scams is if you believe you have received a phishing scam is to really look at that email and where it has come from, specifically the email address. Did this email originate from your bank? Is the last um, ending to the email a Gmail or an account you don't recognize, especially if it does not match your uh, bank account or an account, info, an account you have? Uh, another thing to look at is to see if there are spelling errors within the email and if it's asking for your personal information because generally speaking your bank will not ask you to sign up for emails or to present any of your personal account information through emails themselves. Keep in mind that there is a lot of uh, programs out there easily accessible and free in which someone can spoof a number so that it looks like your bank. Someone can call pretending to be your bank, call pretending to be someone um, within uh, a financial institution or business and ask uh, for money. It is not difficult at all for someone to spoof that business's um, phone number. In fact, we use it at the police department all the time sometimes when we have to contact uh, folks or suspects for information. It's very easy for anyone to be able to do. So keep that in mind if something doesn't sound right always hang up and call yourself. Another type of scams we see, especially with this time, uh, with the current conditions that we are in, is charity scams relating either to coronavirus or to the pandemic. There are plenty of legitimate uh, organizations and charities out there that you can look with a simple uh, website search if you wish to donate or contribute to any charity donations, uh, especially this holiday season. However, organizations that reach out to you, especially by phone or through phishing emails, as we learned earlier today, uh, generally are likely scams asking for money or for donations that do not go to the charity um, or to the organization that you wish to contribute to and instead go into the scammers' pockets. So what we hope this holiday season is that you stay safe, educate yourself. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is, and it doesn't hurt to hang up the phone and verify yourself. Myself and all the officers of the Coronado Police Department are here to help you this holiday season and to guide you through any potential issues you may run into. Please don't be afraid to reach out and ask us, and we'll be more than happy to help.